what we have created is a, a giant sea of plastic within the oceans that is loaded with toxicants from the air and from the water, and uh, that is reintroduced in the food chain, something we definitely don't want. Plastics are now so common, we may not realize how much we actually use them in our everyday lives. Like right now, I actually have some in my eye, and a group of American researchers are pointing out just how harmful these can be to the environment. In a first-of-its-kind study, researchers found about one in every five lens wearers throw them into the sink or toilet, where they break down into microplastics in wastewater treatment. Unfortunately, the plastics persist for a long time. Big ones break down into smaller pieces. At some point, they become so small that they can be taken up into organisms, and there they can uh, obstruct the GI tract, or they can be so small that they're actually taken up into the tissue. And that becomes an issue for organisms further up the food chain, like us. Sometimes humans consume the fish or mussels, you know, um, as, as a whole without uh, removing the, the GI tract. And then uh, we ingest the plastics. Now, uh, plastics are normally inert, meaning they, they don't do much. But they have a tendency of accumulating chemistry on their surfaces. And so we know that they take up air and water pollutants and concentrate them on the surfaces. The team found that contact lenses contain a different kind of plastic. They're not sure yet how different its effects are. They do know these small products can add up quickly. With the number of wearers, they estimate 6 to 10 tons can end up in U.S. wastewater each year. I can understand why people like the convenience of disposable contact lenses. And it could be for a number of reasons. I mean, it could be reactions that they get to the cleaning solution for the, for the multiple use ones. So I certainly understand it. However, when it's going into the water system, that does draw uh, uh, some concern from, uh, you know, not just myself, but I imagine all sorts of organizations throughout North America. Holden says more companies should offer a return service so people can begin to recycle their contact lenses. He also hopes we develop more environmentally friendly plastics. In Winnipeg, Stephanie Lasuk, City News.